So now I'd like you to open up the work files for 0305 transmittance. And inside you'll find three materials. The first material is that color gradient again. And we'll just go ahead and take a look at how that works. What we're dealing with now is the transmittance. Effectively what I've done here is I've created a glass material, just like we talked about in the last chapter. And I've just loaded our color gradient, haven't changed any of the settings here, and rendered it out. And this way we can create stained glass or two-tone glass or any kind of pattern in something that's transparent, whether it be plexiglass or you name it, whatever, water. It could be a lot of different things that, that you might use for transmittance. But any kind of transparent object that you want to have color shifts or have any kind of image that's associated with the way that those colors shift, that would be what you would use your transmittance map for. Now, that said, there's a couple of things that you need to know about transmittance maps. The first is that when you use something like this black and white gradient, the darker your color, and in this particular instance, we're not using a color. I guess if you want to think of black as a color, you could. But the darker the color, the less transparent the glass is going to be. And the lighter the color, the more transparent the glass is going to be. So you can see here how we're going from very transparent to more and more cloudy or smoky or however you want to put it. And that, again, is sort of an effect that you could easily control simply by controlling the value of the colors in your map. A great example of that in practice here is this last one where I've actually used a two tone map, which is simply these black and white stripes and where the white is we're going to get full transparency and where the black is we're going to get full opacity so you can see now that we can't see into those black stripes they're effectively opaque and reflective whereas the white stripes are completely transparent and when you're dealing with these transmit maps that's probably the most important thing to keep in your brain is that anything other than black pure black is going to be somewhat transparent and anything that is other than pure white is going to have somewhat of a color to it now these again are all contingent upon your attenuation settings so you obviously need to take those into consideration i'm using 3.01 centimeters which is pretty much standard for your average household glass type objects and again this is something that will work for any type of transparent media it the same rules apply if it's black it's opaque if it's white it's perfectly transparent if it's anything in between black and white it is partially transparent 